Hello friends, it's Candice and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be looking through Instagram and just looking at some really cool heeled piercings. Now, I feel like a lot of piercings that you see on the internet are freshly done, um, freshly downsized, which usually means they're either obviously fresh or still healing. And you don't frequently, I mean, maybe you do. I mean, I found a lot of pictures, but I feel like I haven't really shown a ton of like healed piercings in my videos and I think they're so cool I feel like a healed piercing is sort of like piercing ASMR like it's so satisfying it's like it's like cutting a bar of soap like it's like oh that's so good why is it so good it's so cool and it looks good it's so satisfying and I can't wait till my ear like fully looks fully healed and all that jazz. But regardless, I've seen I've saved some posts that I've seen on Instagram. Now I haven't really like verified if these are coming from good piercers. I don't know if these are good jewelry, but the fact is I found posts that said something about healed piercings that just looked so good that I had to save it to show you guys healed piercings and let's just get on into it. Fair warning, uh, there are some naked piercing holes, but they're not really, I don't think there's any like naked stretched piercing holes, so that's fair, but there are some holes in this video, just so you know. Anyway, let us begin with the post that kind of inspired me to start this thing. I don't think I'm going to read a lot of the captions unless I have to, to to figure out which piercing is healed. I might be able to figure it out by the photo, because that's why I saved it. Anyway. Let's just get going. This is the reason I started saving these healed piercings. Look at this ear. Oh my gosh. Some of these look a little bit redder. Some of them are probably like newer freshly healed. But, oh, look at how nice these holes are. <laughs> this is going to be a weird video. It's just so cool. Like, it's so cool to see like the piercing holes, like all of them. You can't really see through them since it's like all different angles. But you can see it looks like there's some low quality jewelry in the first lobe. I'm not really sure, but it looks like it's a little bit like dark around the hole. So that looks a little bit bad. And you can see um, that must have been like they just took some of the old jewelry out and upgraded to this, which looks so good. And I don't know. I, I mostly went to see the healed piercing holes, which oh, it's so satisfying. Whose ears look like that? Send me pictures of your healed holes. Okay, don't, I don't, maybe I don't need to see your holes. Anyway, let's go to the next one. Oh my gosh. This is just going to be a video with a lot of holes. Look how satisfying. Oh my gosh. I remember, like, when all I had was my helix piercings, I would be able to take out, not even, like, thick jewelry or anything, just standard, like, I got pierced with, at Piercing Pagoda, and that's all I would wear in it. I could literally take out my piercing pagoda stud and you could see straight through even like that little 18 gauge hole. You could see straight through my ear and it's just like so satisfying and I can't wait till all my piercings look like that and I just have like these cute ears with these cute little healed piercing holes everywhere. Oh my gosh. But this looks so good. Looks so clean. The ear looks not irritated, not dry. It looks so healthy. It looks so good. Anyway, next one. This is just a nostril, but oh, it looks so good. A lot of times, like with nostrils with rings, you'll see like the ring doesn't fit that well or the person has worn rings that don't fit that well and there's like pull lines and it's like, it doesn't like, it's not as like perfect of a circle anymore because you can see that line where like the ring was a little bit too tight. But this just looks so satisfying. You can really tell that the piercing is healed because, um... I think when a piercing is still fresh and new, the skin is sort of like straight up to the jewelry, if that makes sense. The scabs and crusties kind of attach to the jewelry a little bit and form like a circle around it. But once the piercing has healed, the you can sort of see how the skin kind of curves in against the jewelry and you can kind of see how the skin's not really attaching to the jewelry it doesn't like permanently attach but like the, the scabs and crusties kind of like attach but your flesh doesn't 
but you can see how the flesh, like, flesh, is that a gross word? You can see how the skin, like, is sort of, like, just, it, it's a channel. Like, you can see that. And I think this looks so good. It looks so satisfying. So good. Oh, I wish I could get rings in mine. But mine just get irritated when I put rings in my nose. Anyway, I'll read this one. It says, well, here's something you don't see every day. A healed snug. That right there is why I saved this. You can't really see the holes that much, but I feel like a healed snug piercing is impressive enough to save. Sometimes you see healed snug piercings and like anti-tragus piercings that have a lot of scar tissue because maybe it wasn't done on proper anatomy. Like it just like it had a really troublesome healing experience. And this one doesn't look like that at all. It looks like this person's like natural shape of their ear just with a piercing going through it. And it just looks so satisfying and it must have been so good getting that ring in there. Wish I could take credit for this one, but she has had it for years. So it takes years to really heal one of these things. I don't know when it healed, like when it healed or how long, but they just upgraded it to, to a yellow gold ring. Cool. And then, and then I think these little lobe piercings down here are fresh, but ooh, look at that snug. Like this is all what we aspire for. Am I right? Like, does anyone actually have a snug piercing that's healed? Comment down below if you do and maybe send me a picture if you have like cool shots of it. Like if you have one where like you can actually see the piercing channel and see through it, that'd be sick. It's probably hard though. Cause you don't really have light on the back. So you can't see like the light through the hole. But anyway, I thought this was like a definite had to be in this video because it's just so good. Another nostril. I think this one, this one is probably like more freshly healed than that other nostril piercing that we saw. If you can see, it looks healed. It sort of has that thing where the skin's going in, but it doesn't look as like, like it doesn't look as not substantial. It doesn't look as... I don't know. To me, it doesn't look as healed, but maybe it is. Maybe it's just the angle and the shadows, but healed nonetheless, and it looks great. And this jewelry is so cool. Love jewelry. Oh my gosh. I always wanted, like, one of these kind of rings in my nose, but, like, it seems, like, hard to attain. And I also would like to try out a regular ring in my nose first, but we'll get there eventually. We'll get there. Another nostril, double nostril. You can see exactly what I'm talking about where the skin kind of like goes in that's how you can tell when your piercing's healed when it does that and there's no crust for like a few months you're like this is probably healed and asking your piercer like hey can you check it out rely on your piercer for things like that and then once it's fully healed then you don't really need to like go to them for all the answers as much anymore you still can but that's when you can sort of start changing it by yourself if you're comfortable and like doing things like that without worrying about like risking the health of the piercing. But anyway, this looks so good. Oh, and look at that seam ring. Oh my God. Look at how it's like, you can obviously see the seam. It's so, it's lined up so perfectly. Let me see if there's another. Ooh, man, those seam rings are lined up perfectly. That's another reason to go to a good piercer. I think I read somewhere that some piercers, like, during their apprenticeship, they're, like, made to, like, sit there all day sometimes to just practice closing seam rings perfectly. So, like, a really good piercer probably has, I don't know if they have that exact experience, but they probably have a lot of experience learning how to properly close it so it's, like, literally seamless. You know what I mean? Instead of, like, the bump that'll, like, get caught in your piercing and whatever. So good. So good. Next one. This one, I think this one doesn't have quite as good jewelry. This this post is about the flat piercing, which is fresh, but I couldn't help but notice these helix piercings. It has more like regular earring jewelry in it instead of body jewelry in it. You can tell by the hinge. It's like, it's more like something you would wear on your lobes typically, but even still, you can tell how healed these piercings are. You can see exactly what I was saying with the nostril about like the skin going in and how it's just a jewelry going in a channel that exists instead of like the skin. You know what I mean? It just looks, oh, it just looks good. 
I'm like, I just want to put a seam ring in there instead of that. But I'm not a piercer, so I wouldn't be able to do it anyway. But I just want to be like, hey, put a seam ring in there. But I'm sure these are, like, decent quality in terms of... I'm sure they're gold, unless everything's titanium. Either way, um, now I'm just talking smack. It looks great. Healed piercings are great, no matter what's in them. As long as you got them healed, then you're good to go, probably. This one's cool. Um, this is both a healed industrial and a doth. We don't frequently get to see doth, like, piercing holes. So that's a bummer, but just look at this industrial. Am I the only one who... I love when people take their, like, regular industrial bars out. And then you can, like... And then they put rings in there or something. And you can, like, just see the hole. I don't know. Because, like, oof. I'm just, like, admiring people's holes today, guys. But it just looks so good. You, like, you can tell it's healed. Oh, and then the chain. Oof. I don't know what kind of chain it is. But these, like, hoop chains that are, like circles they're so good and they stand out so much and i just love it this piercing's healed and gorgeous and gold i love too so it's all things i love so next one we got we got more holes um this one isn't that much to actually see oh that's what i'm seeing is that fresh i think the industrial is fresh but maybe these piercings are healed? I don't know. Maybe I'll skip this one because I don't really know what we're looking at. Okay, so this industrial is fresh. So maybe this one's not fresh. But there is a little bit of extra length. Either way, look at those healed piercings. The helix piercings, they look healed, beautiful, got a ring in it. Ugh, envy. Some people, some people just can't do it. And then this one... It's just a fresh industrial, which is a little bit more boring. Because, I don't know. I just think industrials are a little bit boring. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Like, they're good. Like, if you like it, it's it's a personal, it's a personal, per, per, blah, blah, blah. Next one. Oh. Ooh, an empty hole. Ooh. Don't have anything to say. Just look at, look at the hole. Oh, so satisfying. Like, is it just me? Am I being weird? gawking at people's holes I'm just looking at it it looks so good I'm so jealous okay now I don't really have anything to say to this one but I'm just staring at it so I'm gonna scroll next to the next one stunning fresh conch piercing so first of all gorgeous love the jewelry choice love it but this is what I wanted to show I feel like I'm assuming this piercer didn't actually pierce this. It looks like an old healed piercing. But just look at it. I mean, like, I guess the location isn't that satisfying because it's kind of high up. But you can pierce wherever you want, I guess. And this has actually healed. And it looks, like, perfectly healed. <laughs> like, it looks so good. Like, the piercing hole. Like, you can see what I was talking about, again, with the channel. It just looks so good. I wish my tragus's would heal. Next one. Didn't do the piercings, but they did fancy them up. Anyway, look at this rook piercing. It's a little blurry. It looks like it could be a little bit grumpy, but that sometimes happens when you change jewelry. But, oh, that's another piercing I could never get to heal. My rook piercing, but that's probably my fault. But either way, oh, it just looks so satisfying. So satisfying. Next one. All right, this one was crazy because I'm like... I can't even imagine why people want to get this piercing. It just looks... I guess people say the same thing about septum piercings and a lot of other piercings. If they don't know or if they don't have it or if they're not interested in it. But rhino piercings look so painful. <laughs> I, I imagine they're going through like the sweet spot kind of area. So it's not like hard cartilage that it's going through. Like the tip of my nose... I have a, I have a retainer in right now. But the tip of my nose is like kind of squishy, but I still think it would hurt so bad and then the risk of scarring and rejection on this must be so high. But this is a healed rhino piercing, which is absolutely impressive. Like look at that extra length. Ooh. I wonder if they downsized it. I hope they downsized it since then. But 
just looks so good. Very impressive. Even though you can't really see the, like, holes on, like, a healed rhino piercing. Who's ever heard of it? It looks great. Love it. Next one. Ooh, this is, this is one of the reasons. This is one of the reasons I'm making this video. Look at this hole. This is exactly what I was talking about with my helix piercing, where I could take the jewelry out and you could see the light through it. Like, you could see straight through it. So satisfying. So satisfying. Oh. You can like see how the skin is going in. Oh, it looks so good. So good. Let's go to the next one. Another one. You can see straight through that thing. That's so cool. And then with jewelry in it. Oh, it just looks so good. It fits so well. Wow. But like this whole man. The whole man. But yeah, this whole, like, this piercing looks so good. It looks so healthy. It looks maybe a little bit dry, but it could be, like, still, like, freshly healed. But it just looks so good. So good. This is 14 karat gold hoop, charms a healed rook. And, okay, so this, oh, this one you can see the tragus piercing, the rook piercing. I love piercings with hoops in it when they're healed because you can actually like see that it's healed like it just looks so good like these look so healthy and healed oh I love the jewelry hanging off that rook like I love those little charms that you can put on a seam ring or anything oh that looks so good the healed piercings are so satisfying so satisfying these you can't really tell they must be healed though next one oh we're getting close to the end close to the end this one Stunning healed navel. First of all, the jewelry. We love the jewelry. Ooh, looks so good. And, and the shape of this belly button is like, I don't know. I, I don't know why I decided to mention it, but it looks so cool. And I love how like the square is like hanging kind of outside of the belly button. And even though the bar is a little bit long, like I could not wear this because I would be terrified I would snag it on something just because of all the extra length. But it just looks so good and like to see that like healed whole, so satisfying. So good. So good. I feel like of all the piercings, you see navel piercings healed like the most because half the time people have them taken out and they still have the hole. But anyway, next one. I think this is the last one, which is just as impressive as the snug piercing we saw earlier. This is an anti-tragus piercing. This one is was pierced over two years ago and it's I think in the description it says I got a I got a brain fart. I think it's basically just talking about how they finally got a, a ring in it and it took takes time and dedication to get rings in in piercings like this, like the antitragus, and I'm assuming the snug as well, because they're such a tricky heel. But when you can get a ring in that Oh, this was it freshly pierced. Look how long that jewelry is. That's for like all the swelling and stuff. But it definitely pays off to have patience because look at how nice that ring looks. And like you can see the healed piercing channel. And this is like probably freshly healed or like freshly ready for this like tight ring. So it's probably going to be a little bit irritated and red from like the fresh jewelry change. But ooh, ooh, this healed antitragus is so satisfying and I'm like... Hoping and praying one day for me, cause I got I gotta heal my piercings. They they all flare up. They all look healed and then they flare up and then they look healed and they flare up and it's a struggle. So this is all of our aspirations: healed anti-tragus piercings, healed snug piercings, healed rook, healed tragus, healed conscious, healed helix, all the healed piercings. So satisfying to look at and even more satisfying when it's on your own body and your own piercings. Uh, let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know if you'd like me to save more. Let me stop this screen recording. Let me know if you'd like me to save more healed piercings. Like, it's pretty fun saving posts that I see. Like, it's super easy, too, because I'm constantly scrolling on the internet, wasting my time and life away. <laughs> but in case you don't want to do that and you like seeing things like this, I can do it for you. I'll save them and compile them so you don't gotta scroll through all the nonsense of Instagram and I'll just show you things like this. So let me know if you like the healed piercings. Um, let me know what you thought. Let me know like are all your piercings healed? Do you sometimes like take the jewelry out and like look through it? 
Does it fascinate you? Is it creepy? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I would really like to grow my channel, build a following, spread more information on safe piercing, he like heal maybe not I don't know healing piercings anything piercings I like piercings even though I'm not a piercer I'm a tattoo apprentice so there will also be content about tattoos there will also be content I do content about hair body mod stuff whatever what, whatever I kind of like which is all in that realm that I've mentioned just a second ago anyway uh, don't forget let me know what you think uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I love ya. See you in the next one. Bye! Oh my gosh! I need to go to sleep because it's 5 in the morning and I gotta be up at 10 and I still gotta take off all this makeup. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh.